De Bowie recently hit an important milestone in his stud career and he continues to be a powerhouse stallion across the globe. He spearheads the roster at Darley's Dalham Hall Stud in Newmarket and Sam Bullard, director of stallions for the stud, speaks to us about the recent record set by De Bowie, as well as looking back over his illustrious stud career. I think it's no secret um, what a thrill Dubai Millennium gave in winning the Dubai World Cup in the Millennium year. That was, that was a huge thrill. And then he had a very untimely demise. So Dubai and Echo of Light were the two stallion sons that were left behind. And Dubai's success inevitably has been hugely important both emotionally and let's face it as a business, and there's no denying it, that we've got a stallion that has achieved what we hoped we could find. He's just had his 200th individual stakes winner, which is very significant, not only for us, but also because it makes him the most, whichever way you look at it, the most successful stallion that's ever stood in Britain. And so for us, that's, that's huge. There's no doubt that he got out of the blocks incredibly quickly. Um, that very first crop of two-year-olds, he had 36 individual two-year-old winners. I think there have only been two stallions have done more than that, even since then. So he's the third highest two-year-old scorer in his first crop of any stallion. If you are serious about buying a potential champion, you cannot look but look at all the Dubawis in the sale ring. They have to be on everybody's list. He's an outcross. So, you know, the other big European breeders and indeed American breeders are looking to buy young Dubawi horses with a pedigree because he is such an outcross if they make it to the stallion ranks. So our own Hunter's Light is, in fact, somewhat surprisingly, his best stakes performer ever with 10 individual stakes winners standing for us in France. Um, ben Battle is another one who won a tremendous, I think he won eight stakes races for us. And then you go right the way through his book until you get to horses like Gayath, and Gayath, you know, world champion last year, um, but not overlooking the likes of Too Darn Hot. I mean, there are some, there is there's just some remarkable horses in there, and how lucky we are. He is remarkable. I mean, I don't want to tempt fate, but he's never had a lame step. He, in training, you know, he was he excelled at a time when it wasn't very easy. You know when he was in when he was in training, and he excelled um, because he was incredibly hardy. He was incredibly tough, and whatever was put in his way, he overcame it. But he's very genuine, very safe. He's a gorgeous horse. Of course, for us now, that is the most exciting part: how he's how the, the next generation are getting on. Um, and you know we have got incredibly exciting horses here, like Postponed. Who you know how good was he? Too darn hot, beautiful, beautiful horse, incredible pedigree. Very, very lucky to have him here. Knight of Thunder is in Ireland. Is he the, is he the next super sire? Well, tell me one that's like, tell me the one that can beat him because I'd like to know it. You know, he's really going in the right direction. And we put Gayeth, just a world champion, Elena, next to him. You know, it's, it's fantastic. And he's standing at a competitive fee, hugely well supported by Irish breeders who also have had success with New Bay, and New Bay raced for Judmont, and you know, he's another Dubawi son who looks like he's doing well. But the other thing we haven't mentioned is his ability to get horses of all trips. That's the other extraordinary thing. And Space Blues is a very, very exciting sprinter this year. From that first crop, he stood McPhee. And McPhee, of course, is the star of four individual Group 1 winners, one of which is Make Believe. And there's another generation being the star of Mishrif, who is having a fantastic start to the year. Um, there is a, you know, there's another, another strand already in the making. So it's really exciting.